Hello, and we're in the studio, and this is my little friend. Well, it's my little friend. It's my little granddaughter, Rosie. Say hello, Rosie. Hello. Hello, everybody. And today, I thought we'd have a bit of fun, um, because I was talking to Chris the other day, the parrot, and she's going to join us after. And she said, wouldn't it be fun if we did some drawing together? Do you think that's a good idea? Yeah. Yes. What do you think? What do you think? What, sh what shall we draw then, Rosie? Because we've been doing some uh, practice sketches, haven't we? So, so we sh should we have a draw? So we have a, a, a go at drawing a bear, shall we? Which way do you want the paper? That's landscape or that's portrait? Portrait. That's portrait. Okay, so let's, um, I've got a little drawing we did earlier, so I'm not doing this freehand. But we'll see what we can do. So let's start off with a basic shape then. Let's do a circle like this. That's a pretty good circle. That's a pretty good circle. Okay, watch now. Do a, a D. Can you see a D? Yeah. That's excellent. Okay, let's colour that D in. Because we're not going to use colours today, we're just going to use black and white, okay? The number I'm using today is a Sharpie marker. This is a permanent marker. Um, you can buy um, other uh, drawing uh, pens, but we're just using Sharpies today. So let's get in the centre of the nose. That's his nose. Get in the centre there and draw a, a C. Can you see? That's it. And then we draw another little C. Like just think of shapes. I mean, just, just do a little mark like that, look. Right? There you go. Let's give him some dots now. Like as if it's whiskers or something on there. All you're going to do now is just draw a little line like that and another little line like that. Good, good. Looking good. And then go up. Up. That's it. And then <laughs> up. There we are. Put some eyes in. What we could do, we could put some little wispy bits on there, like eyebrows, just to make it a bit of fun. Now on the side of his head, Rosie, let's just do, let's do a funny year like that. There we are. Can you do that? It's going to look like a big mouse, this one. <laughs> it's a big mouse. <laughs> okay, let's do another big funny year like that. That's okay. That's looking good. <laughs> That's looking good. Okay, so let's put some hair on him. Let's make him funny, shall we? Yeah. This is not exactly what we, we practiced, but it's a bit of fun, I think. Now, watch what I'm doing now. So, going from about the side of his mouth to there, right? You want to come up and come up like this. And then around yeah. and put a line like that, look. See, can you do that shape? Pretty good. Pretty good. Now then, round like this, <laughs> and then up like that. Well, you're getting there. And then, let's put another... That's his, that's his supposed to be his back legs. Um. <laughs> right, watch that. We're going to put his hands in now, okay? So we'll just put a big thumb like that, and a hand. And that's going to come down like that. There you get in eh? And then, <laughs> then another hand just in front of that one and then underneath there like that. Yeah, and now draw a little circle like that on that paw. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right there like that. And then the same there look. And then you put one, two, three, four. One, two, and that's to represent his paws. It is looking good. Well done. It's what? Yeah, there we are. I'm just put a little bit of ground under him like that. Excellent job. And I hope everybody's pay, uh, drawing away with us, Rosie. Um, I think there's there's a lot of uh, girls and boys out there that, that want to do something like this. Now, what I wanted to do now is watch what I do now. Is I start there, up, around, like that. Can you do that? That's an easy way of drawing a fish. That's a little fish. There's a line there and there's a little fin on the top. 
Now he's catching a fish, so he's going to have to have a rod in his hand. So let's put a rod in his hand like that. Okay. Yes, he's a clever bear. He's a polar bear. There we are. And a little line then down to the fish. And a couple of little water marks coming off a fish. But watch this now. A circle. It's not a circle, it's an oval. Come on, you should be saying that. You should say Bambi, it's an oval, not a circle. And then put another line like that. And then just shade that off. So that looks like there's a hole in the ground now. There we go. So let's put some marks like that, anything like that, just to make it look as if it's the ground, okay? Now on the back, we've got to give him somewhere where he's living, so we go up, around, and make a nice big welly shape like that. Hee <laughs> and a couple of lines. That's an igloo. He lives in an igloo. He's a polar bear. What do polar bears just do? They live in igloos. They do. We could put a little cloud in the sky. Put a little cloud in the sky. Another little cloud in the sky. There we go. Excellent job. What a fantastic, what a fantastic drawing you've done there with me today. So we've learned a few different shapes some circles and ovals and um, we've done a little fish and he's pulling the fish out the water. That's brilliant, look. Put a couple of extra marks. All we're gonna do now is sign our name in the bottom to make it that was. How's that? R-O. Rosie. <laughs> Rosie Williams. There we are. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you try this quick little drawing with myself and Rosie. Say hello, Rosie, and say goodbye, Rosie, and say I'll see you next time, Rosie. <laughs> hello, goodbye, see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for watching, and we will see you on another quick drawing lesson. <laughs>